This AliExpress purchase is absolute rubbish. Let's see if I can make it better. In a previous video, you may have seen me look at this wireless lapel system cheap from AliExpress, no more than $23. Well, when I reviewed it, I took a punt on it, hoping it would be a little gem, but it really was a heap of rubbish. Well, I had a brainwave the other day and thought, well, maybe I could remove the microphone in the transmitter, put a jack in there and put my own microphone into it. But before we do that, let's listen to what it did sound like. But what I've done is I've wired the microphone into the audio jack or the microphone jack on the Nikon here. And I know the Nikon has some quite interesting processing on the audio. It's quite good at leveling the sounds, bringing sounds up and down. So I just thought maybe I'll just try this and, and see what it sounds like. As you can hear, it's not a particularly great audible experience. And well, I guess what you would expect from a $23 device. But I'm gonna see if I can, well, give it a fighting chance. You will only need to turn your attention to the transmitter and carefully you can prise apart the two plastic bits of the casing it's held together on clips, then revealing the PCB which is held by two screws and you can unscrew those two screws showing you the PCB board. I then cut the wires of the microphone that was in the case, cleaned up the contacts and then soldered my own speaker cable onto the contacts. Once that's done I put a bit of hot glue to hold it in place and then turn my attention to the case. I pressed the existing microphone out with a pencil, cleaned it up a little bit, then passed the cable through the hole that was there. Once I'd done that, I then sort of kind of prepared all the heat shrink and everything like that to finally solder the plug. I did a little bit of trial and error to find out what sounded right, and once I'd done that, hot glued it, heat shrunk it, plugged it in, and it was ready to go. Alrighty, so the project is complete and here they are. This is the receiver which will go into my Nikon D5300 which indeed is what I'm speaking to you at the moment except I've taken the lapel mic and I've put it straight into the audio jack and so when I plug this in I'll take the receiver and I'll plug that directly into the camera and then this is the finished transmitter so the only difference is is about it is now that there's a little bit of glue uh, holding it in together so it doesn't get pulled around if I put it in a pocket and then of course this extra bit of wire going into the socket here where I will plug the the lapel microphone and then this will become the transmitter so I'm hoping that this works and now I have experimented with this and so do have a little listen this is the direct input and then the next shot that you will hear is the input that's going through the wireless microphone setup I think there is a little bit of difference but it's certainly more improved but why don't you have a little listen and judge for yourself okay so I have now wired the receiver into the camera and the lapel microphone which is on my chest here is now wired into the transmitter now it's taken me a few attempts to get this right but what I've noticed is on this um, transmitter it's actually got a few settings if I press this button here you will hear some reverb on my voice and if I switch it off there's another button here which um, does a kind of background noise cancelling, which is interesting. And uh, normally I do actually put some noise cancelling processing on my audio because my studio has this rather large server in it and I haven't worked out where I'm gonna put the server. Um, but if I press this button here, it actually introduced some noise cancelling itself, but um, it does, um, I think, um, it doesn't do as good a job as the noise cancelling that I can use in Final Cut. Let me switch it back off. The thing is, what I've noticed, and a few times, um, it automatically comes on when you when you turn the, the unit on. It automatically assumes you want this sort of background noise cancelling. And um, I don't think it sounds great. So 
I hopefully have managed to uh, switch it off. So, and hopefully you'll be able to hear some background noise and how the D5300 has a compressor and it brings up the, the quieter sounds and the lower sounds. So I know it's not a great audio experience, but actually I don't think it's bad after all. Um, so for a quick afternoon project, taking out a microphone, putting in a jack that then you can plug your own microphone into, actually turned out to be quite a fun activity. And I don't think the end result is that bad. Obviously, you need to have a listen to it. It's never going to take on a DJI or a, you know, one of the high-end wireless lapel systems. Uh, one day, I will be able to save up and buy one of those. But if you're on a budget like me, you might want, and you have a bit of technical know-how, you might want to consider picking up the cheap $23 rubbish and with a few electronic parts, you can turn it into something that could pass off as acceptable. You decide. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please do all of the things that interweb users do. Rate, subscribe, comment, and um, I look forward to another video very soon. Thanks for watching.